Hi, my name is Rosalie. I lost 80 pounds and managed to keep it down for the past few months. A lot of people come up to me and constantly ask me how I did it, so I want to make a video about it as sincerely as possible. I'm not going to tell you, oh, it's just strong will, I wanted something and I stuck with it. I want to try and give you the tips on how to make it easier to stick with it. Because it's more of a mental thing than anything. Silly diets like Atkins, gluten-free, master cleanse, shakes and meal replacements. Let's just forget the word diet for a moment here. We're all looking for quick fixes, but what we need is a healthy eating habit. One that sticks with you for the rest of your life. And don't tell me you want to continue with shakes and powders, even during the holidays. When I was big, I wasn't even aware of my eating habits. I was big as a child, and I took it with me as an adult. I only started losing weight because a friend who lost a bit herself suggested it. She was on meal replacements though. I tried the replacements, but I hated it. Although I did realize after seeing the dietitian, something had to change. I had a program written out for me, one that was focused on what my body required based off my height and muscle mass. I can suggest this for everyone since nobody requires the same amount of energy intake. It was a balanced quote unquote diet with 400 calories less than required, but still contained all the vitamins I needed. A slow form of weight loss focused on losing about one pound a week, of course, while keeping a healthy metabolism by practicing some form of exercise 30 to 60 minutes a day. See, if you lose a lot of weight very quickly, your body is very likely to gain it all back again, plus a little more. It's a survival mechanism that is triggered once you start starving yourself. The moment you go back to normal eating, you're very likely to mentally want to catch up all you missed out on. On top of that, you will lose a lot of muscle tissue when starving yourself, which is something I doubt anyone would want. Of course, working out is never a bad thing. I had to eat a little bit more with every 30 minutes of exercise, like a portion of fruit or an extra slice of bread. Now, with this basic pre-knowledge, let me give you some tips on how to get this done mentally. Well, we'll help you, you know, stick to it. Tip 1. Don't set a number. Every number of healthy weight is different for everyone. The same counts for clothing sizes. I'm referring to the famous red carpet dress sizes 0, 1 and 2. These are not healthy examples for most women. Don't try to weigh yourself more than once a week or even less. If you weigh, it helps if you do it at the same time of the day. For women, your monthly cycle has influence on your weight as well. Don't freak out if you suddenly gain some, it could just be water weight. Tip 2. Try to focus on being healthy rather than being skinny. Ladies, I know, I know, but trust me, just being proud of the weight loss and being able to buy nice new clothes should make you happy enough and satisfied with the little bit of weight you've already lost so far. With that said, tip 3. You're gonna want to create a positive mindset. Be happy with the fact that you're living a healthy lifestyle and reward yourself with a nice new shirt sometime. If you feel good, you'll look good. It's a continuous cycle and it will make it so much easier for you to continue. Tip 4. Don't see the new eating program as a diet, but a lifestyle. I mentioned this before, in my case I didn't eat consciously at all and I had to change my entire mindset towards food. I started cooking all my dinners and I made it fun. Tip 5. Learn to take your time. Get a tomato, get some onions. Be patient instead of getting a quick snack on the go. You'll feel more of a reward eating if you take more time to prepare it. And you'll feel better knowing you had a nutritious meal. If you eat more slowly, you'll feel satisfied more quickly as well. Tip 6. Always eat after you wake up. Have a relaxed moment to eat your breakfast. Let me rephrase that. Don't skip a meal at all. If you're on low energy, you're more likely to snack and it'll just backfire on you. Tip 7. Eating healthy shouldn't make you feel hungry all the time. 
A good dietitian will have you eat all that is required. And if you're still hungry, you can always add up on vegetables. Changing eating habits could make you feel hungry at first, but don't worry, your stomach just has to adjust a little. Tip 8. See every day as a new clean slate. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's perfectly fine to have a slice of cake on your friend's birthday. It doesn't mean you have failed. That word does not even exist anymore. The next day you'll wake up and you'll be all free of your cake-eating sins and you're right back to your disciplined self. It's better to indulge yourself on something every once in a while. You won't gain 10 pounds from one afternoon of beer and barbecue. It's not possible to say no to everything all the time. Just be sure you won't slip back to saying yes every day. Tip 9. I am a emotional eater. I'm sure many of you are as well. It's an unhealthy habit you tend to pick up from a very young age. Make it aware to yourself. Keep yourself occupied. Ask yourself, do I really want this? Am I really hungry? Chew gum, have pickles or carrots in the house. Drink tea, anything. Tip 10. Try to surround yourself with people who also live a healthy lifestyle. When I started losing weight, I found it really hard to be around some of my friends. I even had some of my chubbier friends make me feel bad about myself or, you know, make me feel pressured into eating like them. I'm kind of a pleaser, so I started seeing those people less and less. A change of lifestyle could turn into a change of friends, as tough as it may sound. There are plenty of people out there who are rooting for you, willing to give you their old clothes or exercise with you. A gym buddy is a lot of fun. I wish you all the luck and I'm looking forward to answering some of your questions. Here's a little slideshow of myself to motivate you. See ya!